Hi everybody, welcome back to Dubri's Day. It's been a couple of weeks since I've been around. I want to explain what I've been doing. And today's video is also going to be about reshade for your games on your PC. Let's go. So the video has been a bit slack recently. Um, a lot of things have been going on. The main thing is I'll have to be working on my shed. Um, this is my workshop. Um, as you can see behind me, there's lots of uh, things going on. Look, new pretty lights. I'll talk all about this. Um, for the last couple of weeks, uh, the winter's been coming here in the UK and the weather's been rainy and horrible and pretty much disgusting. And I needed some time to fix the roof. Um, over here, there were originally some clear slats above me um, but I had to replace them because unfortunately with my uh, with my wonderful uh, forge over the back there oh, it's quite difficult to do it's all reversed with my forge over the back there um, I kind of got it a bit too warm and the roof started to melt so I had to replace the roof and then while I was at it I thought do you know what this floor is getting damp because I didn't put a damp proof membrane down when I originally laid the uh, foundations here so I've been fixing down a brand new floor. Now, it probably doesn't look like much, but what I've done here, I've put a layer of uh, liquid DPM uh, on the floor. Uh, and then on top of that, I did that twice. And then on top of that, I did a layer of resin with some sand aggregate uh, including it. So it gives you kind of a grayish, bluish color. And it's pretty much cleared up the entire floor of dampness. I don't get any damp coming through at all now. Actually, that's not entirely true. There's a couple of tiny little bits, but nothing to talk about. So I had to do that, and while I was at it, I decided to clear the workshop down because it's been getting so messy in here. So I've had a little bit of a rearrange. Um, I've moved Percy over to here. Um, that was no easy feat, 750 kilogram power hammer, moving that around, that's, that's quite hard work. I've moved the forge into that corner, and then I've moved my anvil uh, down to here. So what it actually means is I can then use the power hammer, use the forge, power hammer, then go straight onto the anvil. I've also had to clear up on this, uh, this other side. Um, on this back side over here, I've got all of my, uh, my welders, my grinder, which um, I still want to move. I want to put this onto uh, an individual stand. Um, and then I've got all the tools and I've put new lights up, thanks to Sam Fowley. He gave me some lots of pretty lights, which are running off the solar power. So, so that's what's been happening uh, for me for the last couple of weeks. That's why things have been a bit, uh, bit quiet. Today I've done a quick technology video. I found out about something called Reshade, which uh, you'll see on the videos in a moment. I'll show you how to install it. And it actually changes your graphics on your games, and I happen to do mine on Lord of the Rings, from sort of dull, okay, nice, you know, graphics to really vibrant colors, and you can change loads of settings. It's, it's absolutely fabulous. But have a look at the video. I'll show you how to do that in both 32 and 64 bit. Um, this weekend I'm going to continue on the knife project, which I've been a bit slack on because I've been doing the, the workshop. And then there'll be videos coming back uh, as normal. So hopefully that explains everything, guys. I'm really uh, sorry about that. Please give me the thumbs up if you like this video. Um, give me a subscribe, keep hitting me up, and thank you so much for watching, guys. Let's get on with how to install Reshade, um, and let's show you how to do it. Thanks, guys. Okay, guys. Um... Welcome back. We are going to have a look at trying to improve the graphics on Lord of the Rings. Um, it's something called a reshader I've been looking at. Uh, it interests me quite a bit because it tries to improve the graphics of Lord of the Rings. Um, the first thing we need to do is pop along to reshade.me and I'll put that in the link below. Um, you then hit the download button and download the latest version, which at the time of this video, 25th of the 10th, 2019, is 4.30. So you hit the download reshade button. Um, I've already downloaded it, but you'll download it, and I have downloaded it onto my desktop here, uh, and it will then be downloaded to your desktop. Okay, once we've got that uh, here, we'll then open up reshade. So reshade set up 4.3.0. Um, and here we go through the instructions about how to install and configure it. Now, Lord of the Rings has both a 32-bit and a 64-bit version, and you have to install uh, Reshade in the correct folder, depending on what version of Lord of the Rings you're playing, 32 or 64-bit, and also whether you're running DirectX 9, DirectX 10, or later, or OpenGL. So for this one, uh, I know a few people had problems getting this running in uh, 64 bit, I'll do that. So you select your game to install or uninstall from. I've already installed it, but I'm going to install it again. So you can look on this box here. You have to locate your Lotro 64 bit 
uh, directory. So mine's under D Lotro 64. Yours may be somewhere somewhere else, but you're looking for the Lotro client 64.4 64-bit. Click on Open. Uh, select the rendering API the game uses. Uh, well, our game uses Direct uh, X 10 plus. I think I'm on Direct X 11. So click on that. Now uh, I'm going to overwrite the installation. For your first installation, you'll just say yes. I want to want to install. Uh, then it's going to ask if you want me to connect to GitHub and download the shaders. And yes, we do. We do want to collect the shaders. So we click yes to that. Off it goes. It connects to GitHub. It downloads the shaders. Uh, there's quite a lot of them. Um, there's a huge amount in here. And you can choose all of them, none of them, or some of them. But I've got them all for now. Click on OK. Uh, then you can edit the reshade settings. Click inside here. Um, then you've got a uh, an ini file which you can create when you go in for the first time, and that stores all of the shaders that you have implemented into your game. So you'll see why that's important in a moment. This is with a default path for the effects and textures, and this is where I'm going to store my screenshots because when you get the uh, the reshader installed, these screenshots are amazing, really really pretty. Um, I'll untick the skip tutorial so you can see the tutorial and what happens when you start the game, and then you click. OK, and you close the window. That is it for reinstalling Reshade. Right, so that's installed. Um, now I'm going to start up Lord of the Rings. I'm going to ensure that we are on 64-bit. So we drop this list down here, click on Options. Definitely on 64-bit. Uh, new Client Beta, OK that. I will do a quick update. I will do my login. Uh, don't write down my password. Um, just connecting in to Evernote, which is where I play. Um, that's just now going to load up all of the, the main screens. And first things first, you can see Reshade is loaded. Reshade is now installed successfully. Press Home to start the tutorial. So it's a really important uh, thing to note. Uh, just hit the Escape button on here. You can see the graphics are different already. Now I'm going to hit the Home button and this will start the tutorial. You know it's working. A, the screen looks different, but B, it'll take you through the tutorial. Um, you can set up a new preset, which I've done called Debris already. Um, and here we are. What I'm just going to do, I'm just going to take everything off because I want to show you what it looks like. So this is the normal Lord of the Rings, as you would expect to see it. So nothing different there. So you can spin around. Everything looks lovely. Um, but we can make it look better. Look at that. Uh, look at that rainbow in the background. We can make it look better. So you press the home button. Um, we have got all of these things we can add. And some of them are quite funny. Um, but what we're going to do, we're going to try a few here just to show you that they work. So we'll put Vibrance on. We'll put HDR on. Ooh. Levels. See, that's gone really dark. So I'll take levels off. Don't like that. Clarity. And clarity on. Ambient light. Don't like that. Adaptive sharpening. Now, that to me looks really clear. I believe you can put a before and after on. And then you can remove some of these to see what they look like afterwards. That works better in game. It kind of splits the screen. Um, let's put before and after off. So that's how it is normally. I'm going to put some of these back on. HDR, clarity, adaptive sharpening. Um, hit on continue. You can adjust uh, for each of these. Um, I guess you call them shaders. You can adjust uh, the settings for each of the shaders underneath. OK, now if we go to say clarity, uh, click on clarity, you can increase it, decrease it. It's currently on three. You can make it a high or low. You can see the screen changes when you adjust it. Um, let's leave it on three for the moment. There's so many settings in here. And once you've done that, you click on the finish button. Um, that will then run the game like this. Um, the best way to do those hit the performance mode, but you do lose the settings. As soon as you hit that performance mode button, all your uh, individual settings disappear but when you click it again they come back up so you hit the performance um and it'll take your settings and then you press home and then you can enter middle earth which is what i'm just going to do here so it's still running uh the screen looks uh, an awful lot brighter um especially when you find some of the festivities so we're about to log in and we're going to go to the party tree at uh, the shire and you'll see that the the graphics are really really bright and am and and uh, ambient is that the right word i think it's the right word they're very bright and vibrant that's the word um and that's a massive difference and you can play the game entirely with all of these settings on so once it's loaded which will be just another second um, I'll enter the split screen so you can see with it on and with it off on half the screen. So half screen will be on, half screen will be off. So let's, uh, let's do a little running around here. Let's turn off the names. If we head over to the party tree and look up at the sky, um, that's probably going to be a good view there. Um, then I press the home button again. 
I'll do the before and after. And you can start playing with these. Uh, if we start making a real different one. There you go, I'll split it. So it's on after now. So the left hand one was before. So in fact, if I take these all off. So that's the game normally. If I put after on, and I'll start adding all of these things on. So what you can see now, before and after is now working, there must be a bug with it. But the left hand side of the screen is it working uh, normally. And the right hand side of the screen is with all of these extra items on. First of all, look at his cloak. His cloak is just so much clearer. So if I put a few of these things on, vibrance, and if we do clarity is a good one. Clarity. Everything suddenly becomes really clear. Look at the difference in colors. Look at the difference in colors on that. It's an amazing difference. So if I try and line that up, you can see very clearly the right-hand side is very vibrant, very bright. Left-hand side is, is the colors are off. And just to finish that and show you that a little bit more, if I take all of these off, you can see how boring it looks. But with this on, it looks amazing. Um, so look, that is um, reshade. Um, what I'm going to do, uh, I'll just take off the uh, before and after, so you can see how vibrant and lovely it is. Um, I'm now going to show you it working in 32-bit and how you can install on 32-bit, and it might be something that you wish to have a little play with. So I'm certainly going to be playing Lord of the Rings with a lot more colour now. I think it looks amazing. What I also want to show you is uh, reshade working in Lord of the Rings in 32-bit. Um, so if we go to our reshade folder, um, you have reshade 4.3.0, double click that. Uh, select the game to install or uninstall. And this time, we, instead of going to Lotro 64, you go to Lotro and Lotro Client. It's as simple as that. Click on that. You repeat this process, so it's going to be Direct 3D. Say yes and yes to download all of the shaders from the GitHub. That'll download. OK, that. Edit reshade settings. It's going to store it in default default present dot n i n i uh, same place um, i will leave tutorial on and i'll take performance mode off okay that close that when you start lord of the rings start up here you have to change it down to 32 bit so click on here click on options change to 32 bit client click on okay so that's definitely running 32 bit we will log in again uh, here we go log in and hit play and this will now start up and you'll see reshades loading so you can press home to start the tutorial and up it comes you can do this while it's loading uh, click continue click continue uh, on the presets if you press this plus button up here you can input your name so let's put dbri 32 bit so we know which one it is um, you can then start playing around with all of these uh, shaders and settings um, i'll just nip back into the game and get past that screen uh, I'm going to play on the home screen. So um, let's put the screen before and after. Um, so you've got the, oh, we put a, uh, there we go. No, it's on. Um, we will now start adding uh, some of these settings. So the left hand uh, one is before, the right hand one is after. Uh, let's have a real go for it, see what we've got. Cartoon. Um, Chromatic aberration, cinematic color matrix. Oh, it's loads here. It just keeps going on and on and on. Uh, I adaption. I haven't played with all of these. You really do need to have a play of them yourself. Uh, depth 3D. Ooh, ooh, you can make it 3D. That's interesting. Uh, I'm not sure that works for my eyes. Depth of field. Um, ooh, ooh, they're nice. That's very bright. Motion blur, that would be interesting when you're fighting. Um, what else have we got? Anyway, you can have a, a, a play with these guys and you can see what you can do to uh, obviously make it um, bright and ambient and all sorts of good things for yourself. Definitely works in 32 bit. Um, as you can see, it's before and after, a lot brighter over here. And this is like time map and levels and before and after just to show the difference between the two screens. I hope, guys, you found that useful. 
So that's how to install Reshade for Lord of the Rings. You can install Reshade for lots of other games and it still has the same functionality. So you can click that home button and, and add and remove all of those, uh, those settings. Now, some games, they class it as a, a cheat. So you've got to be careful what uh, you actually install on. Rings is going to be okay because that doesn't really give you much advantage. But things like, say, Counter-Strike, it probably will because you can then use it to detect things in the background, slow things down, speed things up. Anyway, hope you found it useful. As I mentioned, give me a thumbs up, give me a subscribe if you like this video, and look forward to seeing you next time on Debris Day. Cheers, guys!